Rhythm Basics. One of the attractive features of the CTX5000 is its auto accompaniment function. The keyboard contains 235 different rhythms, from a standard 816 beat to the modern electro, and this function automatically produces accompaniment according to your selected rhythms whenever you simply hold down a chord with the left hand. This function allows you to enjoy performing with the keyboard with a backing ensemble, just like performing with a band. First, let's select a rhythm. Press the Rhythm button. The rhythm indicator in the LCD area lights up, meaning that the keyboard is now in rhythm mode. Next, select the number for your desired rhythm. Rhythms are divided into several categories, and you can quickly switch between different categories. Rhythms are categorized into Group A and Group B. The group from which you select a rhythm when you press a rhythm category is determined by whether the lamp to the left of the rhythm group selection is on or off. Let's press the Start-Stop button to start playing the selected rhythm. A rhythm with drums only begins playing. To stop the rhythm, press Start-Stop again. Next, let's use Auto Accompaniment. Press the Accomp button. The Accomp indicator lights up. Next, press the Ending Synchro Start button. This makes the keyboard enter Synchro Start Standby. With the keyboard in this state, enter a chord to start Auto Accompaniment. To stop Auto Accompaniment, press Start Stop. There are several ways to enter a chord. By default, fingered 1 is set, which allows for performances that use the most standard fingering for chords. To change the chord settings, first press the function button and then press 1 or 3 until chord mode appears on the LCT. For example, let's try changing to Casio chord. This setting allows you to perform with basic chords produced by using simple finger presses, or we can try selecting fingered on bass. This setting interprets the lowest keyboard note as the bass note and allows you to enter slash chords. Next, let's try changing the tempo. Use the up and down arrows to change the tempo value. Press and hold Tap Tempo to change the note value display. The note value display changes each time you press and hold this button. You can set the tempo by repeatedly pressing the Tap Tempo button. This method is convenient when used to first set an approximate tempo, which you can then fine-tune by using entered values. Now, let's use auto accompaniment. Normally, a song begins with an intro, transitions to the melody, and goes through other changes such as interludes, etc before reaching the ending. The auto accompaniment function features various accompaniment patterns 
that match these parts of a song's progression. First, press the intro button. After the accompaniment pattern for the intro plays for several measures, the accompaniment transitions to variation 1. You can change the variation pattern. You can also add fills during a song. For example, while variation 1 is playing, press Variation Fill In button 1. The fill changes based on the timing of this button press, and the accompaniment pattern returns to the previous variation thereafter. There are four variations that can be used for the melody and interludes for songs. Let's try pressing different buttons according to the song's progression. Finally, press the button for the ending that you want to use to end the song. An ending of several measures will play. And auto accompaniment ends. Now, we'll introduce the synchro start function, which starts auto accompaniment when you play a chord, and the synchro stop function, which stops auto accompaniment when you remove your fingers from the keys. To use a synchro start to start auto accompaniment, Press the Ending Synchro Start button. The keyboard enters Synchro Start Standby, and the Synchro Start and V1 indicators blink. If you press the Intro button or another variation button now, you can start from that accompaniment. The relevant indicator blinks. With the keyboard in this state, playing a chord starts Auto Accompaniment. To stop auto accompaniment by using synchro stop, press the synchro stop button. The keyboard enters synchro stop standby. Now release your fingers from the keys when you want to stop auto accompaniment. Auto accompaniment stops. The keyboard now enters synchro start standby automatically. So auto accompaniment starts again right away when you play a chord. Next, we'll introduce the Auto Harmonize function. This function adds depth to a melody by adding harmonies to melodies played by the right hand. You can select from among 12 ways to add harmonies. Press the Auto Harmonize Arpeggiator button. If the Auto Harmonize indicator in the LCD area does not light up, first press the Function button. Select Auto Harmonize Arpeggiator and press the Enter button to change the button assigned setting to 1 Auto Harmonize. Then Press the Auto Harmonize Arpeggiator button. The Auto Harmonize indicator lights up. When you play a melody while playing a chord, a harmony is added to the melody. To select an Auto Harmonize type, press and hold the Auto Harmonize Arpeggiator button until the function indicator blinks. Altogether, there are 12 Auto Harmonize types. Select the type that suits the song best. To turn the Auto Harmonize function off, press the Auto Harmonize Arpeggiator button again. The Auto Harmonize indicator turns off. Next, we will introduce the phrase pad. You can record and assign a short phrase for each of the four phrase pads. These phrases can then be used in combination with functions like auto accompaniment. To switch the phrase pad, first press the function button. 
When phrase pad appears, press enter. When phrase set appears, you can select a phrase set number. When you press phrase 1, playback begins, and the P1 indicator lights up. If you then press phrase 2, both phrases will play back simultaneously. To stop just one of the phrases, press and hold the stop button, and then press the phrase pad for the phrase that you want to stop. To stop playback of all phrases, press the stop button. You can use the registration function to save settings such as rhythms and tones for auto accompaniment, tempos, and auto harmonized settings for later recall. First, press the bank button and then Specify a bank in which to save the settings. While bank appears in the LCD area, you can change the bank number by pressing the bank button. Press and hold the store button, and then press one of the registration buttons from 1 through 8 to select the area in which settings are saved. This saves the settings to the specified bank and area. To recall the saved settings, press the bank button to select the bank containing the settings that you want to recall, and then press the registration button with the number to which the settings are saved. Now, Let's take a look at the OneTouch Presets function. The OneTouch Presets function allows you to recall the tones and tempos that go well with a particular rhythm pattern with the touch of a button. Press and hold the rhythm button until the tone name appears. Settings such as tone and tempo are set for the currently selected rhythm. Playing a chord at this time will start Auto accompaniment. Music presets are a collection of setups with chord progression data. This function allows you to use a single button press to recall tones, rhythms, and other settings along with auto accompaniment chord progression data, which are combined to match musical genres and melodies. To use music presets in a performance, first press the rhythm button. Press and hold the accomp button until the accomp indicator starts blinking. Select the music preset number of your choice from one of the 310 available types. Press Start or Intro. By doing so, you can enjoy performing along with auto accompaniment that follows the preset chord progression. <laughs>